Greetings everyone and welcome back to Terraria, where today we'll be challenging Skeletron Prime. However, before I do that, I want to craft myself some battle potions. Actually, I think I already have them crafted. I just need to get them on me. And uh, I think he's gonna be a perfect candidate to test out our new kit out boss arena. Let's see, not this chest. This one, there we go. So, we got swiftness. Uh, what else do we have? Magic power, sounds good. Archery sounds good. Then we have iron skin, very important. Regeneration. And mana regeneration. I think that should be enough. I wonder... I wonder if he'll do any lava attacks. I kind of doubt it. We should be fine. Now I just need his summon thingy. I know I have one for sure. What I'm not sure about is where exactly I put it. Let's see. I think it looked like a skull pretty much. It shouldn't be too hard to find. I have the suspicious eyes here. Nothing else too crazy. Okay. This seems fine. Ooh. Someone told me that uh, I can throw this on Shimmer, whatever that is, and get some sort of a slime companion. I'm gonna assume that Shimmer is the Hollow, maybe? Uh, not entirely sure though. Maybe it's not. Guess I'll try it. There we go, Mechanical Skull. That's what we're after. And uh, seems like it has just become night time, so let's uh, go and fight ourselves a skeleton, I suppose. Not sure what to expect out of him, to be honest with you. But after that worm, I think we're kinda ready for everything, so... Okay, knock you around. Might be doing them, uh, them in reverse order, to be honest with you. Because, uh, you know, I think the twins are supposed to be die of Cthulhu. The worm is clearly the eater of worlds. Skeletron Prime is, well, Skeletron. So maybe should be doing this one last, but I think we'll be fine. Alright, let's pop all the potions. Get all the buffs. There we go, nice, nice. And look at this, man, we are kicked out. Alright, let's fight ourselves. A skeleton. 28k HP, doesn't sound too bad. Uh, he's looking spookier than last time, apparently. That is, maybe. Is he weaker to. Perhaps weaker to melee damage or something? Doesn't seem to be the case. Let's uh, throw some more magic away. Seems like my region is doing quite nicely though. And my health is uh, regaining quite fast. We will have to use a potion soon though. Probably should get rid of this here. One of his hands is kinda low. And I... Oh, it's uh, low because my daggers have been going crazy on Right? Kinda taking more damage than I would like. Okay, maybe... No, I cannot fly over him. Alright, that's fine. Let's get some magic damage in. Potion is almost off cooldown. Whatever. Oh, there we go. One hand down. So let's work on the other side, I suppose. So far doesn't seem to be too terrible. Uh, I guess it might be just all the boss I can. Okay, potion time. Just as I was saying this. He really decided to run for his damage. There we go. Make our way back. Get the ball. Probably be nice. Probably don't want to be near this. Oh, he's shooting some sort of explosive. That's what's doing so much damage. Okay. Here we go. Okay, my health is not looking great. I want to just stay further away for a bit until my potion is up. 
pull out. I like the worm as well, not getting any hard pickups on the ground. There we go. My collision or something like that. Can we get his hands killed, please? These daggers are helping a lot though, I gotta say. They're doing great work. Focusing one of the hands at a time. I do not want to go in the head. It's spinning like a chainsaw. Almost down 1000 arrows. This guy is a bit tanky. Kind of breaks me with the low HP. Does not appear to be an easy kill though. Potion is almost not full down. My health is not looking great though. Okay. Gotta make sure the bombs don't get me. Because the chainsaw can But what else? Okay. So can this go? Nice. Okay. I don't think I'm shooting at anything right now. There we go. Harder to hit as well. Okay, we got one more of his arm. Very nice. Okay, drop down. Drop down. Okay. Starting to get the hang of it. Let's kill this uh, chainsaw arm, please. It's almost dead. I mean, once we get rid of his hands, it should be pretty easy. Whenever I need one as well. That's pretty cool. Right, let's get some more damage on the head itself. It's down to 7k HP. Careful. And he's out of arms. You my friend are done. Do not stand a chance. Let's uh, give him some melee wax. Like that. It lost him with some magic. Very nice, very nice. Seems like it took about 5 minutes to kill him. So, not uh, too weak, however. Uh, uh, we got him quite nicely. Right, let's finish it off with the melee swing. There we go. He has been demolished. So, what did we get? More Harald bars. We got the uh, Souls of Fright and the uh, Skeleton Prime Mask, which is a vanity item. Nice. So, I think I need uh, the other souls in order to make use of these. However, the Harald bars I can just use now. Make that set, I suppose. Uh, I didn't uh, look how much gold I can get. It's probably dropped like 10 gold or something. Not too bad. Wait, what is this? Wandering Eye Kite. Guys can be flown on windy days. But they suddenly get two of these. Anyway, uh, is it when uh, my, my, my knife skill it? No. I guess I just got lucky or something. I don't know. Let's uh, regroup, sort our items, and uh, figure out how exactly I'm gonna make the rest of the money I need. So quick sort all of this stuff. And I suppose we can drop these here. So the fright should be dropped below. Okay, there we go. Oh, I forgot to throw this on the... That's fine. Okay, drop these in here, next to the Souls of Might. And now we only need to defeat the Twins to get the rest of the Souls, I think. Now, how am I doing on my money? Let's see. Piggy Bank. Place that. I didn't uh, get rid of my Halo Bars. So we're currently looking at... Needing only 55 more gold. Uh, 54 actually. Uh, seems achievable. Maybe I should do another look through my chests. Sell more of this. 
Like these old Dartmoors, I don't think I'm gonna use them. So maybe I should just sell them, I don't know. If I end up needing them for something. I don't really have that many things for sale. I mean these horseshoes, I suppose. Won't be needing them. This is the size of melee weapons, actually sounds kinda nice. Uh, maybe I don't really have that much to sell. Okay, uh, I will do a little bit for sale. And uh, once I'm done with that, uh, I'll update you on how that went. So see you in a bit. Okay, well, honestly, didn't make too much. Uh, just six more gold. I suppose it is something. Just sold off a bunch of junk. So we are closer, but uh, still have some more to go, I suppose. However, I think I have an idea of uh, what we should do. And it involves getting one of those candles at the dungeon that increases mob spawning. Because if I can get that candle plus the battle potion, I should get a decent amount of mob spawning. Uh, which would in turn, obviously, um, they will drop uh, a bunch of gold. If I can do that in a curved biome or something like that, should be able to farm up gold somewhat quickly. At least I assume so. I made some decent money while fishing last time. So that's uh, pretty much uh, what I'm going off of. Uh, I'm gonna go to that place, place a candle, use a battle potion. And uh, just wait for all of the mobs to come. And uh, feed me money because I don't really know of any other better way of doing it. Because uh, the dungeon seems to be the same. And we pretty much raided the whole that. Don't expect to find any more chests there. I suppose we can look a bit more under the jungle. Because that place is not very explored. So wait a minute. Was that sunflower here before? Are the sunflowers growing or something? Maybe not. I'm probably just going crazy, but... Kinda looks off to me. I'm not entirely sure. Let's uh, just go ahead and get that candle. Which should increase... Uh, I'm, I'm not sure by how much it increases it, but... I mean, honestly, anything is something. So, I'll take it. But, uh... You know. Okay. So it should be up here. Kind of, let's see. Have I explored all of the dungeon? Because the chests in here do seem to have some decent money in them. And the loot sells for a bit as well. I guess I have not completely explored it. Maybe I should check it out. After all. Seems like this section down here is pretty much fully explored. Yeah, I think uh, we got all of that. So we got some of the upper layers, like this here, which I suppose we can just dig to. Uh, this goes somewhere. Over here on this side, looks like we have a bit more dungeon. Over here as well. So maybe I'll give it a try, I suppose. Let's get one of these candles. It's a water candle, okay. I'll just get all this money real quick. Oh, this one dropped iron ore. Interesting. Let's uh, head down to these unexplored parts of the dungeon. See if we can get uh, some... Oh, actually. They probably don't stack though, right? I was gonna say we can get more of the water candles, but I assume they do not stack. Okay, no mobs here so far. Which is fine. Understandable. There we go. Now, where was the first unexplored area? Goes straight to the left is one of them. And we have this over to the right. Okay, let's uh, check out the left. See what that's all about. Unfortunately, I cannot use dynamite to break these bricks. So we we'll have to do this manually. It shouldn't take too long though. So we should be there quite soon. Interesting, the wall here has holes in it. Not sure what the meaning behind this is. 
There we go, we're pretty much there. All right, the guys that can shoot me through walls. Goddamn dark caster. How about uh, you go down? Give me a bone one. I got some torches. Oh, this is actually a dead end. Not looking good. How about over here, spikes? I actually got a bunch of mobs. Please, give me your money. Uh, this is a door to nothingness. Break all this. Oh, was this supposed to be an opening or something? Come on, then break it. Yeah, this is supposed to be the way I come in here. Yeah, look, uh, these things that they dropped, they actually sell... Oh, look, I saw the word cursed and I thought some boss was about this one. Uh, they drop a bunch of... Wait a minute. Oh no. Do I have to kill him as well? Oh, come on, man. I kinda like him. Freed him of his curse. Now I'm gonna have to kill him. Hopefully not. Uh, but yeah, these things they drop, they tend to sell for a decent amount. My NPCs. So that's a good way of making money as well. Oh, we have an unlooted chest. Perfect. I don't have keys on me. Really. That's fine. I just need to find the slime. They drop them quite regularly. However, I think that's about it for the unexplored area here. So let's start heading over to the right. Them spikes, man. I hate them. Just a candle. I can turn it off. I doubt any of these decorative things have any value on them. Let's just keep going. Over here to the side. Then up. Bunch more of these casters. Just uh, doing their thing and being annoying. Nothing new. Okay, this is unexplored. Got the painting here. And nothing this way. Okay. That's kind of disappointing about this thing. No, that's a dead end as well. It's not die to the spikes. Alright, uh, do we have anything else? We have this thing here going up. Let's go and check it out. And just another painting. That's about it. Mm, suppose we can go down there. Come on, man, with these casters, I swear. Why can they shoot through walls? How do I open this if it's not with the keys that I get? It's kind of annoying. Get some more. Suppose I can take those. Uh, I don't actually have any of those equipped. Okay. Oh, there we go. Key. Let's uh, go and open up that chest real quick. So that was. Oh. And over here. Hopefully that chest has some good money in it, at least. Or something I can sell for good money. There we go. So, we have a gold coin. Not amazing. Magic missile. More arrows. Spelunker potions are nice. Let's be honest. Healing potions, I suppose. Sure, why not? Yeah, honestly, this dungeon... I think I've pretty much covered it all. I could go there, but... It's like just a waste of time, so let's go back home, now that I have the candle. Then let's see where exactly I put those battle potions. Uh, there they are, perfect. Let me quickly go and sell all these things. So where is my arms dealer? There he is. Hello there, I would like to sell some garbage to you. A little chunk, sell this. First flame actually sells for a decent amount. Uh, we need this banner. Yeah, there we go. It sells for a decent amount. Bone want. We already have one of those. Bones. Okay. Guess I can sell this fish to him as well. But that's about it. 
See, so I'm going in that direction as well. And I want to get my fishing rod again. Okay. Drop these off. Well, the question is, where exactly did I put it? Unicorn horn. Very cool, very cool. So this stuff here. No fishing rod. We got the bug net though. So that... That's cool. Where would I put my fishing rod? Do I, or, do I have it on me? Let's see. Okay, at least I don't have it on me. Uh, would have been quite typical of me to have it on me and search for it. There we go. And now we should be ready to go to the beach on the right. Actually, let me quickly have a chat with our fisherman over here. Uh, oh, it's uh, working with the slime. What quest uh, can you give me? Caught in the surface hollow. Hello. There we go. There's a really, really rare type of pixie that's born with so many wings that it can't actually fly. Interesting. Alright. My fish tank needs a lamp, so I want you to catch that pixie. So He wants pixie fish. I guess we can give that a try. Why not? While well, my daggers are killing everything around me, I can do some fishing. Just need to find some worms. It's the surface hollow, so I mean a bit more to the right. We are entering the hollow, but it's, it's a desert. Actually, I think the jungle is hollow, so not to do the trick. There we go. Did I see? Oh, it's just a zombie. I thought someone was uh, talking here. I guess not. It's not actually really a decent amount of money. Seven copper or uh, seven silver. Pretty good. Hey, this one gave us a bunch as well. Maybe I should be staying in the hollow then. Alright, let's try this fishing thing real quick. I do not have any bait on me. Oh, that's a damn turtle. I don't have any bait on me, so hopefully I can catch fish without it. Let's see. Will we have any luck? Catching a pixie fish. Yeah, look at these daggers. That's why I want to get the, the summon build. Because if I get enough of them and make them more powerful, I can just chill. It seems like I cannot catch anything without bait. Understandable. I need to find some more of these worms. This is uh, actually generating quite a good amount of money. Can I get any bait? Okay, I'm ju I just want to look around for bait first. Then we'll set up the candle and all that stuff in the hollow. Because it appears like the mobs here drop quite a bunch of money. And again, I haven't tested the corruption. Possible they come on man, just mine the plant. Some bats trying to be sneaky. It's not looking great. Not seeing any of the night crawlers, unfortunately. I guess we'll stick with more bait. Which is unfortunate. Taking way too much damage. With this thing. With some of the farmers. I guess maybe the jungle might be a good spot for farming. Because the things here give quite a good amount of money. I kind of want to test the corruption first just to make sure and that it's not better. And then we'll decide where to do our farming. Again, I could also explore the desert a bit more, I suppose. Honestly, actually, that doesn't sound like too bad of an idea. Destroy these fishes. Superior units. It seems like a decent amount of damage. Maybe it will sell for good money. I don't 
What am I doing on my way? I'm just paying off this farming I'm doing right now. Yeah, seven gold. Actually decent. So just head into the hall uh, the corruption real quick. See how the money is looking there. And then we can decide. Still don't see any bait though, which is a shame. I wanted to fish about my daggers farm for me, but it doesn't seem like I'll be able to do that. Doesn't look like we have many mobs in the corruption or anything. Seems like the jungle just spawns them very much quickly. All these plants are actually good for money, since they split up. And all of them drop money, I think. Uh, yeah, this seems like yes. Probably the jungle is the better option. I'm gonna remember to look at my health. Yeah. yeah, honestly, I don't think this will... Oh, that's where the meteor fell. I don't think this is better, so I'll just go back to the jungle. And set up shop there. In fact, why don't we explore the jungle? Seems like there's plenty of mob spawns there anyway. So I can just explore it. Hopefully find some more chests. Just uh, get money passively from my daggers. And mercilessly taking people up. There we go. Perfect. Looks like this place is safe now. Yeah, these, uh, these are the guys I really hate here though. The plants that can just go through walls. Very annoying. But it's not something I cannot deal with at all. So. This is uh, entrance. Let's move our way down. Hope these turtle shells sell for a good amount. Or I can do something good with them. Either of those. Uh, oh, I got something rare again. Where is it? I got the godly butt butt as well. Let's try and get rid of some of the garbage. Grass seeds. Actually, I think I need more though. Oh, one second. I do not want to be throwing these out. Also, let's throw them out here. So I don't accidentally pick them up later. So, don't blow, I'll keep jungle. Don't care about it. Don't care about this. Or this. Or this. So, what did I pick up? <clears throat> Picked up some named item. It seemed to. Oh, there we go. Oh, immunity to poison. That sounds pretty good. I'll definitely be keeping this. Alright, so which are the unexplored part of the jungle? Parts. Well, we can go there maybe, see some pots. Or we can go down and check out this. As long as it's unexplored, it really matter. Uh, am I immune to poison just by carrying this? Because that the boss hit me and did not uh, get poison. Or maybe it's not a guarantee, but I don't know. Seems kinda odd. Let's, let's open this way up with some explosive help. Let's see what exactly we can find there. Get some more calculon. I don't really care about ores anymore, so. Just blow me away through. Should be using sticky dynamite. I guess I can ju just dig this out. It's not that much. There we go. Nothing crazy here so far. Let's let this water go down there. Why can I not break this? Oh, the tree is on it. Because I see a pot down there. Pots give money. There we go. Nice. Oh. I somewhat looked myself into this. Wasn't aware that was a thing. Got some more mobs in here. Let's take care of those real quick. But this does not appear to be leading anywhere. What is this? Funny? Oh, yeah. Some more hornets. Oh, and that uh, pretty much led me the other place I wanted to visit, so. Sounds pretty good to me. 
Uh, we do appear to have a chest here. It's kind of weird though. Let's see, we get some oxygen. Okay, two gold coins. Pretty nice. Glow sticks. Zealous trident. Pull again. Gravity potions seem pretty good. What do I throw away though? Oh, jungle torches. I definitely do not need those. Alright, let's uh, get the other way. Over here. Okay. Maybe over here. Yeah, look at these daggers, man. Summons are so good. Okay. How about this way? We got some pots. Some silver out of that. I'm happy. Wait. Okay, I need to empty my inventory so I can pick up these items. I don't need cobwebs, instant bullets, mud. Uh, do I really need the paintings? Not really. Anything else? Kind of want the food. Not sure about this trident. Don't need the stars. Oh, if you throw them, they just disappear. Right. Fair enough. You can go down here. Just a bunch of cobwebs. And if you like it. Just a random dead end. Oh, we missed some pots in here. So make sure to get all of those. Not much money in them, unfortunately. What is going on here? Oh, hold on a minute. So that's where I get this. And I cannot mine it with my people. So this must be the next hero. But what the hell do I mine it with then? Do we need another Mantite pickaxe? Maybe. Or that Hollow pickaxe, maybe? Or that, that I can make from the Worm Drops. Gold Coins. Flipper. Grants the ability to swim, really. Interesting. Yeah, this is interesting. I was not aware there is something better than the Mantai. Let's knock these out. Nothing crazy here. I'm taking a lot of damage, unfortunately. I'm kind of worried to go into this water. Although I suppose the daggers would have cleaned it up. If there was anything in there. Uh, I'm not sure about it. Seems like an underground jungle here. Okay, please. That's somewhat interesting. This is just normal gold, I'm pretty sure. And this is a dead end. I killed something. How about down here? This is also a dead end. Alright. Let's uh, check out the left, I suppose. A lot of fish in here. There is a chest. Another shark bait. Breathing reed. Dynamite. Alright, that's uh, pretty cool, I suppose. Let's not drown. Oh. That was a bit too close. Not sure if I insta die. In those are now. Okay, I do not want to take the chance. Got some hives. Jingo actually goes on for quite a while. Is that one of those trees that are underground? Sure appears to be. What the hell is this? Statue? It's a statue. Alright. Uh, because those trees have a chest in them. I don't think it's the one I went down already. Alright, let's try to dig up a bit. See if we can find where the chest is. There we go. Look here. Oh, there is a boulder. I needed those for something. Oh, for the hard boulder. I'm not sure if that does anything. There we go. Here is our chest. And we got two more gold. Already up to 16. Bond of regeneration. I'm sure that sells for something. Just drop the gel. 
Give the arrows. I don't think I care about these potions too much. Oh, it's not actually opened up at the top. Is there a chance for more chests in it? Maybe? No, I don't think so. Or to this side maybe? I think that's the top. So yeah, I don't think we're finding any more chests in this thing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, I don't really have space for the boulder, so I'll ignore it for now. You just get down here. See if we can get anything good. We open this pathway. Nothing crazy. It's kinda crazy that I needed this much time to be good enough to properly survive in this jungle. And it's mostly the daggers. Uh, but it was very very tough at the start of that mode. Let's see another chest. This is 100% open. Yeah, I knew it. Remove these traps. There you go. Okay, so. A healing potion under gravity. Dead man's swimwear. Are probably good. I think I'll leave behind the trident. Get some of these. And the stinger. I think they'll sell for more. Pretty much the only reason I'm getting them. Seems like we're going near lava level. Which is interesting. Let's go to the right side. Let's see what the deal is over there. Get some plants. Not new. Do we have any chest? We get uh, another big tree here. It doesn't seem like it's one I've explored either, so I'll definitely check it out. So I'm collect all of the money we've been gathering here. Oh, that's another tree. I have some more account. Let's turn on smart cursor real quick. Make our way down here. There we go. What do we have in this chest? We have a keen mace, a knife. We need to start dropping some things. Yes, I can leave behind the seeds. Lunker potions are good. Let's get the eye and the keen mace. And the reason I'm getting the eye is because fighting the eye drops a decent amount of gold. So, kind of want to have that option. And I was looking at three on the right here. Yeah. Let's get that as well. Should have been using the smart cursor for a much longer time. That's fine, at least I remembered. There'll be minecart. Some more clothes. Gravity potion again. Torches. Maybe it's about time I go back, honestly. How are you doing on time? Yeah, I think it's time I go back and uh, let's sell all of these things, so the question is who do I sell them to? Maybe the wizard who likes some of the magical stuff? Hello there, Merlin. Uh, I want to sell you some magical things. So, okay, this is it's a good amount of money. Uh, flippers, probably gonna keep this. Shark bait. I already have one of those. Might as well sell it. Breeding rod. Don't care about this. 7 gold 40. And the only thing is, I'm not entirely sure if I want to sell it. Maybe it's good. I think I'll just keep it for now. Sell so this thing. Moon low. The maze. Okay. The godly butt butt. Eating nature's gift. Okay. Got this thing from the dungeon. The Rush Hermes boots. Honestly, yeah, probably don't need this anymore, so let's sell it as well. Got 28. We got this thing. Which I think I'll keep. Seems kinda useful being immune to poison. So we made like 28 gold. Which is uh, not too bad. 
pretty much almost have enough. Let's uh, quick stack everything. Make some room in my inventory. And there we go. Very nice. And I just need to drop off the trinket somewhere. And then we'll check our balance again. I think this chest has more space. There we go. Drop the flippers. Drop this thing. And anything else? I don't think so. Oh, this thing. Right. Not really sure what to do with this voodoo though. But uh, it is what it is, I suppose. Hopefully I don't have to kill him in the future. So, let me just place my piggy bank. Like so. Not sure why I placed it there. Okay. So, we currently have... 80 gold. Okay, so I just need 20 more. And I can buy the gun. However, I do still need to buy the ammo for it. So let's not get too rushed with it. Uh, we did make some good money though, so I'm happy with that. And uh, next time around, honestly, not too sure. Maybe we should fight another one of the bosses. We can give the twins a try, I suppose. But for now, hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then.